Hey, welcome back. Looney uh, snoozed and meditated on me the whole time. I wish I could tilt the camera down, but if I move at all, he'll just pop away. Anyway, he's super cat donut right now. Program note, um, taking Thanksgiving off tomorrow, but I'll be back on Friday for anybody that wants to show up and it'd be great to, um, on that wacky day, Black Friday, to visit with you all. Um, in our short week of conversation, we had a just a brief reminder of the impossible spiritual tool of resist not evil and how unbelievably challenging that is for us humans because oftentimes resisting evil is the most, you know, of all the things that are tempting in the world, you know, let's, we can make a quick roster, the seven deadly sins, right? So how tempting those things are, we all know. Uh, one of the most tempting things in the world is resisting evil. Have you ever had a really nasty series of bug bites or poison ivy or poison, poison oak, whatever it's called, where you just, if you start scratching something, you're doomed, man. It's just going to, you can't, you'll satisfy it for a second, but it'll just roar back a thousand fold. And you just have to resist the temptation to scratch it. There are a lot of temptations and, um, you know, even addiction and alcoholism is a form of that, that sort of trigger or itch inside of us that if we fight it, then we actually feed our energy into the evil and it robs, it actually takes our power and uses it against us. In the strangest way, resisting evil is taking our own attention, our own life force, if you will, and putting it into this thing that's external to ourselves and feeding our life force in, into it and thus making an hallucination, a mirage, all the more real until the thing that we're fighting actually has more power than we do. Hmm, what do we call that? Powerlessness? But when we resist evil, even with the best of intentions and often with the best of intentions, because you know the road to hell is, uh, we know what it's paved with, good intentions. The road to heaven is, is uh, it's not paved because nobody ever goes there. But it is unbelievably tempting to resist evil. And I'm not saying evil is not real. Trust me, evil is the most real, painful, hideous, awful thing in this universe and yet it's perfectly real and perfectly unreal because whatever evil we see see we must understand it's simply a construct of human perception and humans in their fall from grace in their selfishness in their small mindedness we begin to think negative thoughts we begin to take on inaccurate beliefs then we begin to behave badly and evil comes into play and it becomes a force that we feed more energy into. And then it seems to be the dominant thing in the universe. And then we fight it and it continues. And this only goes on for so long, eternity, until we learn to withdraw our attention away from it. Turn the other cheek, resist not evil, and look above it. Find the place within us. And it doesn't mean that we don't actively do everything in our lives we can to soothe, to assuage, to heal the evil in ourselves and the evil that we see in the world. It just means we can bring a different attitude. We've ceased fighting anything or anyone. So on this beautiful, hopefully for you, peaceful day, you don't have to go to the airport, hopefully, but if you do, fly happily. But uh a renewed capacity to resist not evil, not to feed our life force into it, not to give evil energy that it doesn't deserve, but to withdraw away from it, to rise above it, and to find that place within us of perfect peace. And then instead of resisting evil, we'll begin to dissipate it from the only way that it can ever be dissipated from the inside out. Anyway, much love, gratitude, joy and happiness to you and yours as you gather around your tables. And if you'd like to visit on Friday, I'm here because we need to charge our batteries before we go shopping. Anyway, I love you guys a lot and thank you for putting up with my, uh, with my ramblings and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.